Flatbed game, drive-in game, taker game, reefer game, any game, whole lot of game shit. Let me clarify that last statement. When I say any game, no, not just any game, positivity. That's the game we with. Nice lawnmower, 1199. 1199, crash me. Yeah, man. Positivity game. That's what we about. R.I.P. Nipsey Hustle. Sad world we living in, man. We got to do better, folks. Y'all want to see a magic trick? Beautiful out here. Y'all ready for the magic trick? Bam. King of the jungle. Look what I found. I call him Mr. Peterbilt. Let's see if I got a load. When I open this door, bam, no load. But I found some coffee though, waiting on me. Yep, I don't got a load yet. So let's play the waiting game. Sit here and chill out. Is my truck dirty? Damn right it's dirty. It was one of my subscribers. Not not sure who it was. I can't remember who it was. But he was asking me about the trucks. And asking me, when you get your new truck, is the truck already clean? Uh, in my experience, I've only been to two companies. I was at Mountain, and then I was here at Hornady. And both of my experiences, when I got the truck, the truck was clean. But like I told him, as a flat better, it's gonna be hard to keep that truck clean. That's what I told him. I don't know how some of y'all do, but uh, I wear Carhartt boots. In one of my earlier videos, I said Carhartts are made for two things, kicking ass and flat bedding. And whatever order they come in, <laughs> I like, I don't know. I, I ain't kicked no ass in a minute. But I've been doing a lot of damn flatbedding. And it's hard to keep this truck clean, man, because a lot of times I, I end up in some places where some mud at and rocks and stuff like that. and I don't know. I just don't got time to clean it. But I'm going to sit here and drink this coffee and wait on my load. I'm up here in Virginia Beach, so I don't know where I'm going to end up at next, but it don't, it don't even matter. I'm down for whatever. Like I said, positivity. We got to cut this, cut the dumb shit out, man. Cut the dumb shit out, man. We got to do better than that, man. We got to do better. Shout out my bro, J-Lo. Well, not J-Lo. J, J-Lo, the subscriber. Shout out my dog, Jay, who said I got the clearest videos on YouTube. Appreciate that, Jake. A lot of y'all, man, sometimes y'all watch these videos, but you might not have a good signal. So they might, the video might not, don't look as, look as good as it should look. But anyway, I ain't going to take up too much of y'all time. Just a little food for thought. Enjoy y'all day. Hopefully I might get some good footage to make this an interesting video. I know y'all probably tired of seeing me. Well, I think I've only recorded it once or twice. Um, unloading sheetrock. Ain't nothing to it, man. You just back up, unload it. That's all it is to it. Hell, they give me a forklift. I can help out. I can help do it a little quicker. Hopefully, they don't uh, tell me to move out the way over here. I'm over here parked beside the uh, garden center. So, hopefully, they don't come out here and tell me to move. Because, uh... I'm just sitting here. I ain't started my clock yet. I don't know where I'm going to end up at next. I'm trying to save my hours. Because uh, if I would have started it this morning at 5.30 when my appointment time was, what time is it now? 8 o'clock. I would have lost like two and a half hours just sitting here. So, manage your time. Check in with y'all later.
made it, gang. Had a pretty hectic ride getting here, man. Couldn't, couldn't find the correct directions. I had to call around and get the right directions because the address I had, they wouldn't, it wouldn't show up on GPS. So I had to make some phone calls. Finally got the right address and I made it. Then I had a little hiccup with that because GPS took me down a, a road that was, uh, that, that uh, a guy told me hasn't been used in over 15 years. <laughs> but the GPS always sends truckers down the road. And I passed the guy when I was going down the road and he waved at me. He was sitting on his porch. And by the time I got down there, uh, I seen the, the road say road closed. I had to back out probably about a half a mile. Then I got it. GPS was trying to send me through a country club. But I was like, nah, that ain't gonna work. So I backed straight out, pulled up on the side road. By the time I did that, the other guy walked up and talked to me. And he uh, spotted me while I backed up. And I got turned around, got up out of there. Then when I got here, I got to the guard shack. And the girl was like, go straight over the bridge, make a left, two speed bumps, make another left. I did that. I got to that, I got to that guard shack. They told me to go back out on the road, make another left, go over three speed bumps, then make another left. So that's where I'm at right now, in this little staging area. So, next time I ever have to come to this place, if I ever do, I know exactly what I need to do. And right now I'm just waiting in line, and uh, they just pulled another truck up that was in front of me. So I guess, you know, after this truck, Maybe they might come get me or something. <clears throat> Game time. Stay in truck until called. No strapping while loading. All PPE must be worn at all times. Do not get on top of loads. And so it was written. I wonder if they got a tarpon station. Maybe I won't. Maybe I get lucky and I have to talk. Cause the, the wood, I see the wood I got up here now. It got plastic on it, so I don't know. I guess I won't know till I see the bills. Shout out that McElroy trailer behind me. That McElroy was sitting right there. When I first got here, he was already in line, but he must have had to handle something. Cause he told me to go ahead. What's going, on, buddy? We gotta hit the road. We got about 400 miles. If I ain't tell y'all, I'm going to Delaware. Yeah, the motherfucker gotta be talked. I knew I wasn't gonna get too lucky. It is what it is. get bit by no shark when I was at the beach. Let's get it, baby. Now we gotta run across this goddamn scale. And pray we ain't overweight. Shout out that lady from Georgia Pacific. She showed me how to use it. Showed me how to use the trumpet station. That was my first time using one. Back to back, talking machines. How about that?
D. Love, peace, prosperity. Ah, man, I just did something tonight I ain't did in a while. Ran my clock all the way down. 13 minutes. Ran it all the way down. Trying to get to the goddamn cosign need tonight. I, I did, I actually did make it. But when I got here, I had plenty of chances to park. But when I got here, the motherfucking, uh, the motherfucking gate was locked. I said, what in the fuck? So, hopefully, nobody don't come out here fucking with me. Y'all can see it. There it go. Shop right. All y'all drive in drivers that follow me. Thank y'all can look out for your boy tonight. Let me sleep right here with the drive in game. We all on the same team. We see the air drivers. I just need to sit here to about 7.30 in the morning. That road right there, all I gotta do is make a left and then make the first left and I'm right at the drop. But they got the gate locked. I can't get in, but it is what it is. We made it. Love, peace, prosperity. Stop the black on black crime. Stop the black, black on white, white on black, Mexican on Honduran, Chinese on Japanese, all that shit, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's another one from your boy, Flatbed Gang.